It would be like Bill Gates leaving Microsoft and then ripping his successor a new one. Actually, it is that. This is the most talked about battle in the business world right now. Fascinates me. The former chief executive of American International Group, better known as AIG, ripping the company's new management and demanding they postpone tomorrow's big shareholder meeting. They're not budging on that meeting, and neither is Hank Greenberg, concerned that his old firm is losing its way and losing cash, too. Nearly $8 billion bucks in the last quarter alone. Stockholders have lost $80 billion from its high. With me moments ago, Morris Hank Greenberg. Nasty stuff, Hank. Where's Hank. this going? I don't know, Neil. Um, what I can do is uh, vote our shares, which I've done. Um, and um, what others do, I don't know. But, you know, it's a, it's a tragedy what's happening to the company. All right. We should say for people who aren't adverse to this as they would be, let's say, if you're watching the Business Network, that AIG is, was sort of the financial powerhouse poster child. It was the shining example of how financial firm, insurance firm is run. Fell on hard times, lost $80 billion in stock value from its height. And now you're saying as the former maestro, hey, enough. But new guys are running the shop. What are they telling you? They're not telling me anything. That we, we don't talk. Um, the, there hasn't been any conversation since I left the company. So there's no, when you, res, when you tell the company, um, postpone the meeting, um, postpone a lot of these big plans you have, what do they tell you? Well, look, you look at it another way. The year-end results were sent out to shareholders in, in normal fashion, uh, which was the largest loss in the company's history. And the first quarter came later. So people already had voted their proxies. Shareholders and vote their proxies. Then they find out that there's another loss that's bigger than the year-end loss. So wouldn't you think that with this new information that they now have, which they didn't have when they got their shareholder report, that, that the board would say, hey, this new information is material. It's very material. Shouldn't we postpone the meeting to give people a chance to digest? Well, they said the no. Happened? They said no. They said no. Okay. The reason why this drama is, is even hitting the front pages of newspapers and leading newscasts now is because everyone's worried that there's going to be more bloodletting in big financial names, AIG included, even more. And that you unwittingly are, are making it worse without intending to do so. so do how am I making it worse? By trying to, by trying to um, say to the board, Hey, postpone the meeting. After all, the shareholders own the company, not the board. The shareholders own the company, and they ought to have a right uh, to decide whether or not uh, what they want to do. I could only vote the shares I control and those of the companies that I'm associated.